Los Angeles, more than most cities, is defined by its murders. It seems to set the city of angels apart, and it seems to catch the world's attention. One of the cases in this dark pantheon is the Wonderland case, 40 years old this year. Not far from where Graham Nash wrote the classic Our House about Joni Mitchell's Laurel Canyon retreat, there was another house, this one on Wonderland Avenue where intruders entered before dawn on July 1st, 1981, and viciously attacked five people as they slept, leaving four of them dead. I'm Michael Connolly. I came to L.A. nearly 40 years ago as a journalist drawn by the movies, the books, and yes, the murders. And that time, the Wonderland case was unsolved, and I was fascinated with it. I ended up leaving journalism behind to become a novelist, but my fascination with Wonderland never ended. Over the years, there were three different murder trials, but no one was ever convicted of murder. The full truth is not known. We can talk to the investigators, and in the course of our episodes, we certainly will. But they came after the fact. We want to start instead with an insider, someone there at the beginning, before there was murder. And that would be Scott Thorson, a name that might sound familiar. They're all dead. Every one of them, they're all dead. That's what scares me. Maybe I'm next. This journey will take us from Liberace and Scott Thorson to the Prince of Porn, John Holmes, to the dark and violent overlord of a powerful L.A. drug syndicate, to a whole cast of characters on both sides of the law, some of them with one foot on each side of that line. My advice to the listener is to buckle up. The ride is going to get bumpy. The old adage, when a crime is committed in hell, you do not have angels for witnesses. That was his case. He was very arrogant. Kind of the, do you know who I am? I took the pistol I had in my hand, stuck it into his groin, and then stuck it in his mouth and cocked it. Politicians, cops, judges, he knew a lot of people. And we knew he was insulated to what extent we didn't know. Sometimes we would switch hotels because they were afraid they were going to try to kill him. They tried to take my eyeball off with a pencil. Your client murdered those people, had those people murdered. I heard it. I saw it. The Wonderland Murders and the Secret History of Hollywood can be heard exclusively on Audible beginning July 1st.